Hey y'all, Kevin from Hindsight. It's a beautiful day to paint some interior on the uh, 1978 F-250 project uh, that has been in the shop for since February, I believe. A lot of work's been done to it, but it is the day to paint the interior, the jams, uh, inside of the fenders, inside of the doors, and all that. So. We're gonna take a walk and we're gonna go into the shop and meet a special guest today. Well, not a special guest, Danny from Hindsight. Um, I mean, he's special, but he's not really a guest. Hey, I'm Woody from Hindsight Engineering. Uh, out here at Kevin's shop, where uh, Kevin's been working on a 78 uh, F-250 for several months now. Uh, we're gonna paint the inside of the cab, inside the doors, inside the hood, inside the fenders. Uh, Gonna get some uh, color on it uh, so he can hang all the parts and everything. We got some chrome trim that's going down the side so he wants everything hung on the vehicle uh, and ready to go. We're gonna do a little video and show you kind of what we do and uh, Mark's gonna do some video and kind of follow us around. So uh, hang tight, it's gonna be fun. Everything is prepped and it's been wiped down, it's been blown off, it's been tacked off. Got our little hose apparatus hung so he can stand in there and get to spraying. A couple of fans just to blow out some overspray. Hinges professionally wiped down by. Mark Schnacky, good, more hinges, the finest ass this side of the Mississippi, and So you notice I made two of these? Yeah. We're definitely going to go through one and a half because I'm sealing like the whole hood, the whole inside of the fender, the whole inside of the doors, and I'm going to probably seal as much of the inside of that cab as I can. So I'm going to do everything out here first, and then whatever's left, I'm spraying on the inside of that cab until empty or I just can't spray it. So I make two because I hate the idea of stopping. I do not stop in the middle when I'm when I start spraying. Other than swapping this cup out or having to, you know, if I had a big beaker mm -hmm. at work, I got like a two quart beaker. Uh, if I mix all the color in there, you know, run out, pour it in there, and keep going. Uh, as far as spraying, and like get halfway through that door and run out of color or whatever, yeah. and then have to go do. Right, I, I, I can see that where too. that's. You're creating problems for yourself. Right. And you're doing the spray outs first, or just when you get to I'll that? I'll put sealer on them and probably move them over okay. here for now. 